Hi guys, welcome to my channel again. This is my second video. I didn't do a voiceover for this video just because I wanted to play with a palette, well, I don't know, palettes that I haven't used in a hot minute. I, I got this like seven years ago. I don't know, you'll see it soon. And I just wanted to play with the colors and I never play with colors so I've really stepped out of my comfort zone right now. And I decided to do this purpley, I don't know, it kind of looks pink in the monitor. It looks like a purpley pink smoky eye type thing. Um, and I just paired it with these lashes. There's no wing line or anything. Um, and this is, this is, if you want to know how I got this look, then keep on watching. Alrighty, let's get started. Don't mind my hair, I'll be doing that at the end of this video. But I thought um, I, I won't do a voiceover today in this video just because I don't know what I'm doing, but I want to play. And the only thing I can play with that has like all sorts of colours is my Shani Cosmetics box thing. This is the first thing I bought when I was, was starting to get into makeup. Um, just because it came with seven layers of like eyeshadows, so like you open it up. I don't know if they still sell this on Shani Cosmetics. Um, I heard a beauty, a beauty guru talk about it. I don't know who though. But it just, um, I can't remember who. Oh. Well, all um, different types of eyeshadows, like there's seven layers. Got the purples. Oh, can I grab it? Got the yellows and oranges. My colours over here. Oh, my favourite. I forgot what the pigment is like also, like I don't know, I haven't used it in ages. Got some yellows, some pinks, perfect. And then there's a blush and bronzer, this is the last like, no, this is like concealer and maybe your contour, cream contours, I don't know, you could probably use it for that. And then a bunch of lipsticks. I've never tried any of these lipsticks, like they've never been touched and I've had this for honestly like five years. <laughs> so long and I decided might as well use it today. Might as well use it. I don't know what look I'm going to do, I'm just going to play and you're just going to see what I come up with. I changed my background. It's like a creamy type of looking color. Anyways, alright. First I'm going to start off um, priming my eyes with my MAC soft ochre paint pot I will use this colour right here and sit I've just put down I'm pretty sure the pigmentation was pretty good I don't know, I've forgotten how well they blend for my eye primer, I use the Dome Shadow Brush by Real Techniques. I need to remember these things. And then to set it, I use the Setting Brush by Real Techniques. Now, I'm going in with my XO Beauty Eyeshadow Blender. Since it's got a purpley undertone, I'll build it. I'm just going to pop that through the crease. Act as a transition. My brushes need cleaning. Okay, I'm going to go on with the darker purple now, so I'm just going to go on with the one underneath it just to darken up that crease. Just to step, oh, see how much powder comes off? Did you see that? Oh, you can't see it. Maybe you can, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just my Napoleon eyeshadow brush. Just this little flat one here. Um, I'm scared. I never play with colour. Like, I am so out of my comfort zone right now. Like I never play with colour and I'm doing it for the first time on camera. And it's like, maybe I should have practiced this. Because what if it doesn't turn out good? Pigmented girl. I'm not dragging it up, I'm just keeping it in the crease. I've 
got my crease eyeshadow brush, full slash lock brush. That one, that dark purple right there. And I'm just gonna pop that on the inner V. Let's see how we go. These shadows do come off very easily, I've noticed. So I can't blend the up too much, or else you pretty much wipe off all the colour. I'm just going to spray my eyeshadow brush with the Mario Disco spray. Or should I use, do I have any Fix Plus left? No, I think I, I've used it all. Just because I really want that pigment, girl. Not giving it to me. It makes a huge difference when it's wet. So now I'm just going to clean up my outer edges using a Q-tip and an oil-based makeup remover. I can see that it did get a lot of all that. I'm just going to now prime my face with um, Photo Finish, Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Okay, because I'm scared of fallout, I'm gonna do my under eye now. I'm gonna grab the same color I put down in my crease first. Now I'm gonna get the one that I put on my lid, so this one right here. I'm just putting that in the center. Then I'm just gonna grab that dark shade that I used right here. And that's what I'm gonna to use to join the outer corners. Color disc in white wedding just to highlight my inner corners of my eye. Now I'm going to grab my Ready Set Gorgeous by CoverGirl Foundation. I'm in the color 115. This is like my ultimate favorite. I'm loving this foundation. So now I'm going to go in with my One More Wake Me Up concealer and I'm just going to conceal these lines up on the side because I just did, I just did a little bit of blending out. So now I just need to clean it back up. I'm going to use my ring fingers just to blend out just because I'm scared. Now I'm just grabbing some translucent powder and my setting brush by Mento Hoops. And I'm just going to set that under eye. I'm just grabbing um, a big Real Techniques powder brush, getting the same powder, translucent powder, and just going to set the rest of my face. Grabbing my sleek face contour palette in uh, the shade light and I'm just going to contour and highlight my face using both of these. Grabbing my Napoleon contour couture contour brush. Gosh. Going from the top of my ear I don't go past my eye, I kind of keep the darkest on the outer part of my face. I'm just going to grab a more fluffier brush and just kind of um, lightly go around my forehead because I don't want it as strong around my forehead. Getting a little bit, putting it down my neck. I'm just going to be taking my Bella, oh no, the battery's going flat, Bella um, fan brush, grabbing that highlight, putting it on the tops of my cheeks. More down my nose. Mm. I'm gonna grab my Napoleon um, blush in mosaic, uh, in flushing mosaic powder. This is what it looks like. I thought I'd keep with a pinky tone since my eyes are very warm. 
So just grabbing um, my blush brush from Real Techniques and giving that a swirl. And that blending into my highlight and contour. I'm going to fill in my brows and then I'll be right back. Brows are done and on fleek. Girl, I just used my Napoleon Espresso to go color disc in brown, it's an eyeshadow, and using my Arbon um, eyebrow gel to set them in place. Now I'm just gonna grab my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara and I'm gonna coat both my top and bottom lashes. Next I'm gonna grab my Arbon eyeliner in the color Plum Prune and I'm going to line my waterline. Next I'm going to get these lashes by Model Rock. I don't know the style, but they're the ones that kind of flare at the end. They don't have a number or they don't have a name. They just came in a box saying Model Rock lashes. Um, I do have to cut these lashes because I am very sensitive and I can't have them like close to my inner corner because I can feel it and my eyes go all blood and red shot and I just do not want that. So I do have to cut them. I do cut them from the inner corners just so I don't lose the length on the ends. So I'm cutting from the inner corners, applying them, and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, I've just gone and straightened my hair. Now there are a couple of lip, lip options that I want to try. Um, you can either go like a, a pinky purple or you could go a nude. You could do either. Either. Try this purple one um, by Color Theory. I think these are only like $6 I think. Or $3, I don't know. Something ridiculous. And this one's called Barbie Girl. Barbie Girl. There's two eggs. So, I'm gonna try this one. Now this ain't completely nude. This is by Color Theory also, and it's called Bittersweet. It's kind of like a brown, brownish type of nude. It's not completely nude. Now I'm just gonna spray my face with Mario Badescu spray, um, facial spray. I love this stuff. Smells so good. And I'm just going to set my face with this. Alrighty guys, this completes the look. I had fun playing with colour. I never really play with colour. It's just like this ugly hair tie off the wrist. I like it. Now I'm just gonna go visit my sister. She's gonna be like Um, so yeah, um, it, all the products that I used will be listed in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. If you liked this, give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And don't forget to check out my vlog channel where I vlog my everyday life. And that will be listed also down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!